And I was messing around with this thing. I got myself into a tricky situation a couple of times. I, I really don't know my way around this. Apparently there's a thing called the Tuckerman Traverse, and I was reading about this on Wikipedia. And there really is a way to very quickly get to all six sides in here, if you know how, but I don't. I mean, I'm still kind of new to this. So I'm not sure how they do it. I mean, there's actually sides in here that I have a hard time getting to. That's one of them. I have a hard time getting to that side. And, uh, but look at what happens. I one time folded this thing up and I couldn't get my way out of it. And it, I thought it was folded in half. And then one of these triangles, uh, one of these little sides folded up on me and I, I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't get the thing open anymore after that. I folded it in half. And uh, I pulled up one of these corners like this. Okay. See what I mean? I took that half a hexagon. I folded this up. And look, I'm back to another half a hexagon. But now when I go to open it back up again, you know, it's this on this side. And when I go to open it back up again, it doesn't open. I got yellow and black over there, and I got some more yellow and black over there. I can see it, but it's locked over here. This is stuck shut. So when I was trying to mess with it, I realized I can open this side too. So I have one pattern down in here with the green and brown on it, and I got another pattern over here with my yellow and my black with paisley thing out here. And if I do this, I can see that I got my orange down inside there. And now look, I've made some kind of a 3D diamond thing. I've never seen anybody's, anybody else's videos showing how the flexagon can be folded up into a diamond. I mean, like a 3D diamond kind of thing. I'm sure somebody else has done it. But anyway, I, I was shocked when this happened to me. I couldn't get back out of it actually so again I can get here I am see I can't get out I can't open this but if you flip that up and then you open back oh boy it's something well you'll have fun too once you get it once you get once you get flipping you'll be flipping there's still another side in here that I have yet to see I mean I've, I've seen it but I tend to make the things white and then decorate them afterward because it's fun. You end up flipping through it. You realize how little you know. You end up flipping. There's a whole other side in here, folks, that I cannot find. And I know somebody out there is like a flexagon expert, and they're saying, just go here. Just do that. You're missing it, you know. There it is. <laughs> anyway, the other thing I've learned is you can carry these around, at, you know, fold them up into a triangle, fold it in half, and then uh, it's kind of hard to explain it, but you can you can do this to it and fold it up into a triangle, or even better, pull this guy up and then fold it into a triangle. And then when you hand it to your buddy and be like, "Hey, here you go," when they open it, they'll be in this kind of locked position where you can't get the thing open. <laughs> and if they don't know what they're doing, they'll never figure out how to get it back open. Anyway. Enjoy. Have fun. Hopefully you can learn something about math from these things. I, they seem very uh, mathy, if you know what I mean. They're pretty cool. They're a pretty cool thing. Thanks for watching.